A new study discovered what's the fastest way to get rid of sadness and depression, and the solution is very simple. To stop thinking about yourself and to start thinking positive thoughts about other people. Between the focus groups that took part in this research, the group that was asked to think positive thoughts about other people was the happiest one and had barely any anxieties. What do you think about this study? It's impossible not to think about myself. I'm an egoist. This is how I was created by nature. You can call it God, doesn't matter how you call it. But my nature is to think about myself all the time, how to benefit my situation in every given moment. And here you're told, no, you have to think about someone else. It's the same formula that the Torah talks about, of love another as thyself. Think about others all the time and you'll feel good. But how can I do it? They have no solution. They say practice. You can't do anything against your own nature. Our substance is the desire to receive pleasure. For me to receive pleasure, so I have to feel that I'm receiving pleasure. That's it. I can either enjoy feeling good myself, or that someone that I love feels good. My baby, for example. Will thinking about others make me feel good? No. Why? Why should it? I'm thinking about them, that they'll feel good. I care for them. Why should I feel good as a result? So it's just a psychological trick. No, it could work for some time. For sure. Mm-hmm. The problem is that it's not in our nature. And so even if we do these kinds of exercises or we take students and do these exercises like they do in focus groups, but still these are focus groups, it'll never work in real life. So how, despite the fact that my nature is to think only about myself, can I reach a state where I'll be happy? I don't annul myself, like you're saying that we have to forget about ourselves and as if we live in someone else. That's against our nature. But I'm saying, no, what we have to do is, all of us are in a group and we'll feel good on condition that we'll be connected in the center of the group. Let's start understanding that if we'll feel ourselves there, then we'll all feel good. And let's really try to connect so much so that we'll discover the force of good in our center. And do I exist in the center of the group? You exist in your connection with others, and suddenly you start feeling that you and the others as if disappear, dissipate, and there's something new. We. And what this we starts feeling is something else. It's a different reality. We're talking about a higher degree. And then you start feeling that we're fulfilled by something higher. It's no longer a particular or individual feeling, but it's the general fulfillment between you. And this fulfillment, it's warm, it's good, it's soothing, it dissipates all problems. You really ascended to the degree of heaven.